No, you start. Hi, I'm Gina. I'm Jono, and we're answering questions for Ag Career Start today. What has been the most challenging thing about moving to a cattle station in Queensland? The weather. The weather. The just weather. Just being hot, humid all the time. Yeah, just being hot, humid. The rain is actually so much different. We get a lot more rain up in Queensland than we do back in South Australia. Yeah, it's a lot heavier. Yeah. And then like, it's hard because all of our roads, apart from the main highway, are bitchman. Yeah. And everything else is dirt. So when you carry on like a three axle trailer full of motorbikes. It's a bit slippery and scary. around or in the truck taking the buggy or the quads or. Mm. Yeah. I suppose that's challenging for us is rain and stuff like that and working with it. Um, and I guess probably just like learning to live in our own house but having someone else in another house just up the road that's mm. right there and sort of like, I wouldn't say parenting but helping you out quite a bit as well. Yeah, I think that's good. And yeah. you've got like that family relationship with them that we've built with them. Yeah, that's something that you have to build the bond. Yeah. yeah. Like, which I think it's great. Like we look at like their three girls as like our Little siblings. Sisters, yeah. yeah. Do you think tomato sauce belongs in the pantry or the fridge? Well, I would say it belongs in the pantry, but now living with you, it's got to go in the fridge. It belongs in the fridge, otherwise you tip it out and it all just oozes out everywhere. Yeah, but that's why you shake it first. No, it needs to have good consistency straight away. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh, it does. I've always had my tomato sauce in the pantry. Um, Until I live with you. Goes in the fridge. Right. Um, would you recommend a career start to a friend? Yes, definitely. And why would you do that? Uh, it's just a great opportunity for young adults to get into the agriculture industry, I think. Um, it can, uh, yeah, it can be daunting, like you don't know where you're going to go. Yeah. And I think just doing a career, you get to talk to your host farmer first and you sort of get introduced to them first instead of just rocking up and being like, hey, I'm here to work for you for a year. Yeah. Or beyond that. Yeah. I suppose it just makes it, it's very simple, they do it all for you and it just makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah. And you have the opportunity to meet a lot of other new participants as well that are involved in the same program, mm. which is really good. Plus getting to do like courses. And, and the courses, else. yeah, that come with that. And I think, yeah, being able to do that helps us a lot with our job too. Yeah. Like doing low stress stock handling or cattle management courses or anything like that we could do. It makes our job, makes us understand more of what they're trying to do. Yeah. Day in, day out with their business. And I guess that helps them with us understanding too. Yeah. Like stuff that you wouldn't, I probably would never have seen unless I did the program. Yeah. That's like the benefits of doing a career, I guess is the places you get sent and there's some views that you will never see unless you did the program in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how did your mum and dad take the news that you were moving to a station in Queensland for, I guess, at least a year? Yeah, so mum took it really well. Um, she was very happy um, for us like to move up to Queensland, but dad, mm. on the other hand, he was a bit emotional and didn't really want to say goodbye. and. Yeah. Wasn't like it was very hard. Like, is it when are you going to come home to visit, or when can I come up there to visit? So it was yeah. sort of like very hard for him to take it in. Mm. Um, but he's getting there. He's got there in the end. So it's good. yeah. I think mum and dad were pretty happy for me. Yeah. Well, I don't think dad ever thought I would go outside of my trades. Yeah. Um, probably stay where I was at the time. And then mum was very happy for me that I was just doing something for myself. Yeah. By just going out, being independent and yeah, go on to live a life that was just... Completely different to what you were Yeah, doing. very different. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any jobs you don't like doing? And how do you decide who has to do it? Well, most jobs are enjoyable on a station. It's just... What about the lick runs? No, nah, lick runs are good. How you Apart from like 40 kilo bags all the time. Yeah. But the half ton bags are the crane, the trucks and everything, they're good. But... Yeah, I don't know, I like doing everything. Lick runs is the way that you learn where everything is on the station. Yeah. And how to get to point A, point B, all the way to like wherever you need to go. You just have it in the back of your head already. You know where to go. So I think lick runs is the most important. So I wouldn't say it's a, could call it a challenge first time around, but I don't know. I reckon that's your most beneficial task is doing lick runs and fencing as well. You know where all your fences are. You know how big your paddocks are. 
So if there is a little job that you don't like doing, like kind of don't like doing, who would you decide to do it though? Oh, like depends. How I don't would you like, go about it? don't like servicing quad bikes. So I guess I'd get you to like, used to race motorbikes, so that would be fair enough if you had to do the bikes. What about putting new bike busters back on the two wheelers? No, nah, not my thing. <laughs> Very frustrating, especially when they're broken. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's part of it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Who is the better cook? Depends on the day. Typically me. Right. Self-proclaimed, but... You can be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Code sauce just the other night were great. Yeah, they were very good. Mm -hmm. What about like the tuna bakes and. Yeah, my tuna bakes. The Pizza tuna bakes that tuna. I taught you how to cook. No, I didn't at all. It's on the back of a bloody jar. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It no, tells you what to do. Then, tuna. You, no, you pass the tuna, cheese on top with your. You, know, you put your sauce on top before your cheese, but yeah. And then you put all your seasonings on top of there and it tastes great. Piece of corn, terrific. What's the best new skill you have after working on a cattle station for six months? I think like better understanding of fencing and how to be quick about it. I suppose going back to my trade, being a carpenter, it's all about being time efficient, uh, producing quality work and stuff like that. So it's pretty well the same for fencing, getting yeah. it done quick, making it look nice, make sure everything's straight, everything's tidy. Yeah, I suppose that would be a new skill I've learned. Oh, and doing like all the branding and stuff like that when we get cars yeah. and branding and all that. It's completely different in Queensland and like oh, know, yeah, the bigger stations different. and yeah. stuff like that with your branding and your marking. Yeah, but your it is shading even. Yeah, it's an experience that you wouldn't get unless you tried it. Yeah, exactly. You think it is just stupid, but it's not. Like, until you try it, you don't realise how much fun it is. Yeah. And yeah, branding cows for a day is some of the best days you'll ever have. And you can have jokes about who has the best brand or brand of the day. Yeah, I get brand of the day every day. There's a whole filing cabinet of brand of the days. <laughs> I'm literally, my file is this big. Oh, you're full of it. Yeah. What has surprised you the most? How quick I picked up where everything is. Yeah. Like, I suppose every night we come home, we'd look at the maps and we would like the station map, we would figure out where we went that day, map it all out, what roads we took on the big map we've got in the kitchen, um, and then yeah, we'd figure out the paddocks, everything went to the lick spots, and I think, yeah, doing lick runs and stuff I think like it was really, really good us. that um, the bosses did provide us with that map. Mm. Um, that way, like, yeah, we could work out where we are going during the day, yeah. but then once we got home, we are like, oh yeah, like, that's this paddock, oh yeah, that's that paddock. Mm. And it really started to make sense to us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, here's a good one. Are you any good at using a stock whip? Yes. Well, I say I'm good. Yeah. You do the old witch. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can. I use a stock whip for a while now, but yep. it takes a lot of practice to be able to it does. get it right and get going yeah. with the stock whip. Yeah. Like it's all about the technique, like a lot of people think it's the arm movement, Yeah. it's a lot to do with the, the wrist. wrist, like yeah. it's the way you flick your wrist Even like the one in front of you, you go like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, like that. and it's just like you flick it. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah, very hard to teach people how to use one. Um, yeah, but my brother's really good at cracking whips. Yeah. 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 I'm really good at cracking whips. Not very good at cracking whips. No, <laughs> I hit myself with the whip, not crack the whip. Yeah. End up entangling myself in it if it's a big one. You'll get there. You'll get yeah, there. Eventually, yeah. Sure. <laughs> For the record, how good are my mashed potatoes? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I will What's admit. my secret ingredients? Um, some lemon pepper, some cheese. Yeah, that goes alright. Mm. The only time that I think it can be like a little bit high going is when they're a bit lumpy still. Like your mash is just a little bit lumpy. You just need to mash it that a little bit more and get it a little bit true, more smoothier. It's how smoother. you get the true taste of the potato you've used to make the mash. And I even sometimes put like a pinch of bacon salt in there. Yeah, that's it gives really it real, nice. Even yes. put bacon in my mashed potato too sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and that makes it so much better. Do you know what we need to try? No, I'm happy with the way my mashed potato is. Don't want mashed potato, sweet potato and pumpkin. In one thing. In one thing, that's really nice. Yeah. And then just add like all the ingredients. But I think why we're on something that's really good. Like you don't want to 
muck around. It's a trial it. and error. No, if it's good, it's good. Leave it. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a Land Cruiser. They're literally oh, the same body style since day dot. You don't change something that's too good. Okay.